Expression Web is a visual web editor developed by Microsoft to replace front page and also to maintain compliance with the web standards. The purpose of this PowerPoint presentation is to help you build a website and then to post it to, the, to a web host. And we'll certainly go through how to find a web host. When you first open Expression Web, you'll find a menu bar at the top, a toolbar. You'll also find the document window in the middle. And then there will be task panes for a folder list, tag properties, toolbars, and styles. This is not um, a page yet that is a web page. And we are going to begin to do that right now. If you go and open the file menu, at the top you'll see New. What we're going to do is click on New in order to start. So under File and New and Website, we should be able then to begin to start building a new website. When you open websites, you'll see that there are two choices, general or templates. We're going to select templates, and we're going to cho choose one of the organizations, in this case, Organization 6, so that we can become familiar with uh, the web standards and how to prepare or develop um, or design a website. So we're basically going to go to new website template and select option six. Option six will open with nine folders. And you'll notice that one of the key folders, or um, excuse me, one of the key files is default. We'll talk more about that. The first file that we are, inter we are interested in is the default file. And the next file will be the master dynamic web template after we get through with this process here. When we click on default and the file opens, we should see a tab at the top of the editor. We should also see a code view and a design view. This is really referred to as the split view. There are really two parts to the design view. One is the header, which is part of what is called a dynamic web template. And the other, the middle, is really the contents that we will be changing. We will always open pages, which usually has, has the extension HTML, when we want to do editing. For example, if we open the About folder, we find an About page. When we click on the About page and it opens, that is the editable page at this point. If we open the calendar folder, we'll find a calendar.htm page. If we click on that, you'll see a tab at the top where it is opened. In addition, you'll see a split view. The top view is the code, then the, the view below that is the content. The content is what we are interested in changing. The other page in our template that we want to use for learning purposes is called the Master Dynamic Web Template. And we can open it and observe the characteristics about it. We have to have this page open if we want to edit anything with the template. When that is open, we cannot edit the content of the various pages. You'll notice when we open the dynamic web template, there will be a navigation list. So the value of the dynamic web template is, 
if we add a page or add a link or a navigation point, then all of the pages in our website will be updated automatically. So it'll save us a lot of time. We also have a, a breadcrumb trail at the pot, a top to follow everything that is going on. Again, if we click on File, a nice feature is that we can preview what we have already available to us in a browser. So we will do use that as well. Here is a slide that describes that. We click on File, scroll down to Preview in Browser, or hit F12. The various browsers like Internet Explorer or Firefox or Opera or whatever browsers we have available to us can then be used to view our page and check its content. Web designers frequently like 